What's up, everyone? This is El Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Last time, we spent the entirety of the previous episode battling on this floor. Although we did manage to snag a few more Shadow Pokemon along the way. In this episode, we are going to head up these stairs and head on over to the next floor. Which just so happens to be the roof. Now, there are a few battles here that we can partake in, but they're not necessary by any means. However, since we're not really going to have any other time to do these, eh, may as well just go ahead and do them, get them out of the way, and gain a little bit of experience. Hmm, I'm impressed that you got here. I'll have to make you feel welcome. Well, I do feel very welcome for having to go through yet another battle in this long line of battles and snagging. Well, at any rate, we do have... We have a kind of a door right here, but it's locked. We have a scientist up there and another commander who's barring the way. Except this one is actually barring the way and not just kind of there. Hello. How are you this fine evening? Above here is the factory's all-important control machine. I can't let you pass, even if it takes inches off my chest. And that's supposed to mean what now? You're not even a commander! You're just a peon! Okay, so Anjik is gonna start off with a Golduck and a Hitmontop. Alright. Interesting combination, that Hitmontop's not gonna be a problem at all. Alright then. Let's see, Olivia, let's go ahead and use Psychic on Hitmontop. Nanami... Ugh. Nanami's not really gonna be helpful in this situation. And yet I don't want Klaus to gain all the experience! Ugh. what do I want to do? Well, I may as well just switch out Darbus. I mean, I could switch out to Antasma, but I don't feel like Antasma would really be that beneficial as well in this circumstance. Oh, well, at the very least, I should be able to take care of that hit on top without any trouble whatsoever. Alright, his next Pokemon, Kariyama! Well, isn't that convenient? Okay, Confusion, please tell me you did that on Olivia. Darn it! Eh. At the very least, Golduck is only a water type. So it doesn't, at the very least, he doesn't have same type attack bonus. Olivia, go and use Psychic. Darbus, use Fake Out on Golduck. Should be able to deal at least a little bit of chip damage. And at least stall him a turn. Maybe, maybe I'll have much favorable circumstance with his next Pokemon with Haryama. Or with Darbus. All right, next Pokemon, Venomoth. Okay. Whenever you see the question, chances are good. Shadow Pokemon. Venomoth is kind of all right. Out of all of the bug Pokemon that you can get in this area, Venomoth's probably going to be the best one of the group. It has some pretty good special attack. And it also comes with Bright Powder, so if you need to boost up bug type moves, it can do it has that going for it as well. It's still a little bit difficult to recommend. But you know, if you really really need a bug type, I think Venomoth is probably gonna be the best you're gonna get. Okay, Olivia, you could kind of use some heals. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use your turn to use a Hyper Potion. And as much as I would love to just paralyze that Venomoth, I'm going to use Klaus's turn to take care of that Golduck. I feel like 
that gold duck is a little bit more pressing matter. All right, so down goes Golduck, and his final Pokemon. Oh wow, lots of Pokemon gain experience. That his final Pokemon, Weepin Bell, and Weepin Bell is also a Shadow Pokemon. Weepin Bell is actually a, a very good offensive Pokemon. It has a very good attack and special attack. Admittedly, the physical attack is a little bit ridiculous, at least in this generation, but it's still a pretty decent Pokemon if you need a good grass type that can deal a lot of damage. In terms of other stats, it might be a little bit lacking, but for just pure offensive power, you can do pretty well with Weeping Bell. I may, I'm somewhat tempted to bring Koromaru out because that Venomoth is really starting to be problematic. Okay, and also Klaus is starting to go down. Um, Olivia, let's go ahead and use your turn to heal up Klaus. Excuse me. Klaus, let's go ahead and use Thunder Wave on Venomoth. I'm hoping that the Paralysis will be able to at least do something. Kinda like that. That will definitely work. Darn it! Oh, right when I was about to switch out for Koromaru. Fantastic. Okay, Olivia. Go ahead and use Reflect since it's using Shadow Rush. Klaus. Why do I want to use your turn for? Let's go ahead and use a Shadow Ball on Weepin' Bell. I'm not entirely sure the best way to deal with these Pokemon. I could potentially try a Thunderbolt, but Klaus has some pretty good special attack, and I'm kind of worried about fainting. Oh, Shadow Mist? Really? Okay, you know what? Sure, if you're gonna waste your turn, by all means, waste it on Shadow Mist. Ow. I'm pretty sure Shadow Rave has 100% accuracy. I don't think it has lowered accuracy for any reason. Uh, Olivia, go ahead and use Shockwave on... What do I want to focus on? Let's focus on... Let's focus on Weeping Bell. Klaus, go ahead and use Shadow Ball. With any luck, I should be good on catching that Weeping Bell. Oh yeah, I'll definitely be good at start starting to catch that Weeping Bell. All right. Yeah, not very effective, but oh sweet, Venomoth is paralyzed, and Weeping Bell still gets to attack. Pokemon are really starting to take a little bit of a beating. Okay, Olivia, let's see. What do I want to do with you? Do I want to you want to chuck the Pokeball? Nah, let's go and use Shockwave. Klaus, we'll use your turn to throw a great ball at that Weeping Bell. Alright, we should have no problem whatsoever in catching this Weeping Bell. So, if you would be so kind, Weeping Bell. One. Two, three. Thank you very much. Alright, now to deal with that Venomoth. Okay, well... Hmm. Unfortunately, I think it was Venomoth... Ugh. Wait a minute, was it Venomoth that used Shadow Hold, or was that Weeping Bell? Olivia, you Shockwave. Klaus, let's go ahead and test that out. No, it was Weeping Bell. Awesome. All right, so I can use Klaus to look or Klaus. I can use Koromaru to lower that Venomoth's attack and hopefully keep Olivia alive. All right, well, at the very least, I should be good. Oh, sweet. Wow, Paralysis is working very well. Okay, Olivia, we are going to use your turn to throw a Great Ball. Koromaru, we are going to use your turn to make sure Olivia doesn't die. Alright, 
So let's see if this great ball can catch us a venom off. One, two, three. Yes! Aha! All right. Cause we both cause the venom off. We beat Angic. Have you beaten chest muscle size? That's kind of but That's really petty when you think about it. In fact, even when you don't think about it, that's still petty. Okay, well, Klaus unfortunately took a heck of a beating. So go ahead and heal him up. And that's a lot of noise coming from outside. Let me kind of close my window all the way. Weird, 11 o'clock in the evening, well, it is 11 o'clock on a Saturday evening, so I honestly shouldn't be surprised. I can also bypass that guy and get whatever in this box, which happens to be TM26. TM26 being, do 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 do, Earthquake. Admittedly, this is a very good move, but unfortunately, I have no Pokemon to really utilize it. I mean, Darbus, Darbus can use it, but I don't have any flying types or Pokemon that know Levitate. So, as much as that's a fantastic strategy and as much as I loved using that in Colosseum, I can't exactly use that efficiently in this game, at least with the party I have. So, it's good, but I'm gonna have to pass. Okay, now all there's to do is to adjust the voltage. Let me see, where's the system lever? Huh? Oh, whoops, I left it on my desk! Oh, that's not smart. Oh, hey, that's my system lever! You went and got it for me, thank you! Wait, who are you anyway? You don't belong here! Oh, darn, the voltage goes up even a little. The computer controlling the whole facility will shut down. Shut down, you say? And oh my gosh, if that were to happen, the Shadow Pokemon production software could be destroyed. Well, destroyed. Well, destroyer is my name, but you get the point. I can't you lay. I can't let you lay one finger on this control machine. Yes, and you are the one that's going to stop us. I would love to see you try. So Akrod is gonna start off with a Grumpig and a Seedra. Okay. This is definitely the wrong setup for this battle. Okay, Olivia, let's... Hmm. Yeah, this is the complete wrong setup for this. Um, let's go ahead and switch you out for Antasma. Nanami, I'm gonna switch you out. Oh, that's adorable. I'm gonna switch you out for Klaus. Yeah, don't exactly have the best Pokemon for this fight, but whatever. I'm just gonna ha have to hope that he just kind of buffs his Pokemon, or at the very least deals minuscule damage. Heck, use a normal type attack on <laughs> on Antasma. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. Antasma, I seriously can't wait for you to evolve because you really need some better defensive stats. Oh, great. They both... Wow! Okay. I put Antasma there because I thought for sure they would target Nanami. Okay. Well, Nanami, let's put you back out there. Wow. I honestly didn't expect them to both have targeted Olivia. Fantastic. Nanami, go ahead and use Ice Beam. Klaus, Thunderbolt. Shouldn't have any trouble at all taking care of that Seedra. Hopefully, though, his next Pokemon will be a bit more favorable for Seal. All right, next Pokemon. Camera. Well, that will certainly do it. <laughs> Camera. Well, that will be an interesting one. Psywave on Klaus. Oh, jeez. When did Psywave become so freaking powerful? Okay. Ugh. Fortunately, Grumpig has some really good special defense. Thankfully, Klaus no Shadow Ball. And I would rather use this, because this counts as a physical attack. 
Ah, oh, darn it. Well, I think I might have just lost Klaus. Which is very bad. No, he targeted a Nami. Okay. Well. That's rather surprising. Alright, how much damage does that deal to camera? That deals almost enough to faint it. Wonderful. And really, Ember again on my water type. AI. Just AI magic. You know, that's some that's probably like one of the few moves in Pokemon that I have absolutely zero idea what it does. I see my opponents use that move fairly often. And you have absolutely no idea what the heck it even does. Well anyway, so next Pokemon, Seeking. Seeking is going to be a, well actually no, that Seeking's not gonna be any problem whatsoever. Because I have Klaus out, and Klaus is gonna wreck some fish. Oh well, Nanami gained a level. Very nice, and Klaus also gained a level. Hooray! Alright, and his final Pokemon, Pyloswine. Um, that Pyloswine's gonna be a little bit problematic. At the very least, for Klaus it will be, but at the very least, I can take care of that Seeking first. I think I said at the very least either two or three times in that sentence. Oh well, it's not like I haven't been redundant before. Okay. So Nami, how much damage are you gonna deal? Again, almost enough to faint it. Thanks, Nami. Oh, and good job of dodging that. All right. So that deals a little bit of damage to Klaus, also lowers his speed, but whatever, Nanami's faster than it, and Klaus can just kick, oh wow, Klaus is, Klaus is still faster! Imagine that. All right, down goes Pyloswine, and that finishes off this battle. All right. Well, that was simple enough. You can't have it! Give me back the system lever! Um, I believe the answer is no. Ha ha ha! Nanami has evolved into Dugong! Ooh, and Nanami wants to learn Sheer Cold. Sheer Cold is a very, it's a very high risk move. What it does, it has 30 accuracy, but if it hits, it's an insta kill. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Safeguard because I don't ever use Safeguard. And Nanami learned Sheer Cold. Oh, that's going to be a fun move to try to pull off. And he runs away. All right, well, uh, you know, before we really mess with that, I mean, Cypher's already probably well aware of our presence, but they're gonna be even more well aware of our presence once we mess with that machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal up my Pokemon really quick, just so that they can be prepared for any sort of trouble that might be up ahead. All right, so now that everyone's all healed up and ready to go for whatever dangers that may await, let's go ahead and insert the system lever. It says to adjust the voltage, use the system lever. Warning, do not raise voltage too high. Raise it or lower? Honestly, I don't think lowering it really does anything. But nothing happened. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything. Or you can just leave it alone. Let's go ahead and raise the voltage. Yeah, that that certainly got their attention. Well. 
I believe we've kind of made a bit of a disruption. And no doubt that we'll be swarmed with other Cypher agents very, very shortly. However, since we are about to face such a calamity, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, we've gone ahead and destroyed the, s the system software, whatever, that's been developing the Shadow Pokemon. Without any luck, this should put a stop to any more production of the Shadow Pokemon. But, we're just gonna have to wait and see what are the consequences of these actions are in the next episode. So until next time, everyone, take care.